Tesla is full of surprises, and right now the company is rumored to make a smartphone with SpaceX technology, and you could also potentially mine cryptocurrencies with your smartphone. If that doesn't blow your mind, we don't know what else will. Traditionally, Tesla has always been a company that is ready to take challenges. The company changed the face of the automotive industry with their electric vehicles, something that people used to look down upon before Tesla, because electric cars before Tesla used to be incredibly boring, and nobody wanted to buy an electric car as a daily driver because they were too expensive and it did not do any better than gasoline vehicles. Most of Tesla's revenue indeed comes from their electric vehicle business, but Tesla also manufactures sustainable energy storage solutions. Tesla is also working on a humanoid robot that will get you done those boring and repetitive tasks. This humanoid robot will be called Tesla Bot and it will be using all the AI features that Tesla's cars are equipped with. This is expected because Tesla happens to be a company with some of the high-end artificial intelligence applications in the entire world. But what if Tesla could bring all their expertise in artificial intelligence and battery technology to a smartphone? What if Elon Musk could use the resources of his other companies to make a smartphone that is unlike anything we have seen in the smartphone industry? We know that the smartphone industry is huge, with billions of dollars spent on research and development. But even then, most smartphones today almost look similar with multiple camera setup and edge-to-edge -edge display. There is nothing unique about a particular smartphone anymore, and if there is anything, it will just be a gimmick and nothing useful for most people. But that will definitely not be the case with the Tesla's smartphone, because there's a lot of interesting things happening with the Tesla Model Pi. So, what exactly do you get with the Tesla Model Pi? Well, first and foremost, we need to discuss the compatibility of the Tesla Model Pi with SpaceX's Starlink project. Now, for those of you who don't know, Starlink happens to be a satellite internet constellation, 1,600 satellites, out of which more than 1,500 satellites are already in orbit, providing satellite internet to those people who find it really hard to access fiber internet connection, especially in those remote areas. You could expect more satellites to complete the constellation, but right now, Starlink wants to roll out satellite internet services to remote areas first, and moving forward, you will get Starlink satellite internet access all over the world. In the future, you might even see integration of Starlink satellite internet with Tesla's own cars, but before that, Tesla will be implementing Starlink satellite access with their own smartphone, which makes Tesla's Model Pi a satellite smartphone unlike every other smartphone we have today in the market. Now, Tesla is not the first one to make a smartphone with satellite connectivity, but this will be the very first smartphone that will be compatible with the Starlink network. Starlink exists today as a way for SpaceX to generate more revenue for their Mars mission, and it looks like the purpose of Starlink is expanding to more than what it was initially meant for. We could expect the Tesla Model Pi to create a segment of its own while beating the competition. Soon, we might even be able to eliminate cell towers altogether, and we might move to complete satellite smartphones. The other exciting part about the Model Pi has to be the involvement of Elon Musk's other company, Neuralink. Now, for those of you who don't know, Neuralink happens to be a company that is co-founded by Elon Musk, and Neuralink will be developing a device that can be surgically implanted into your brain. And with it, you will be able to communicate with machines and even Tesla's own vehicles with just your brain. It's exciting to see that this technology might make it to Tesla's smartphone, which means that if you have the device implanted in your brain, this device will be able to communicate with your Tesla smartphone. That way, the communication between your smartphone and you will no longer be limited to just touching the screen. You could probably even control your phone without ever touching or holding your phone. If this rumor is true, the Tesla Model Pi will be what the original iPhone was for the smartphone market, and this will change everything. Next, we need to talk about the design of the smartphone. Right now, according to the rumors, this particular smartphone will be equipped with four cameras, each of them with very specific benefits. We could expect a wide-angle lens, a telephoto lens, and a normal lens, but the other one is still a mystery. It could be some sort of depth sensor, or Tesla is keeping it a surprise. And we will only know about it once this phone is officially unveiled, even though we don't have any release date for the smartphone, or we don't have any official confirmation from Tesla regarding this smartphone.
The phone will also have a slight shift of colors depending upon the incident light. Yes, you might have seen this feature with so many smartphones, but we don't think that this is a big deal, because most people will slap on a case on their smartphones because they do want to protect their valuable investment. Maybe in the future, Tesla could use satellites to communicate with people on Mars, because when you look at Elon's goal with SpaceX, he wanted to put humans to Mars ever since SpaceX was conceptualized, and once he does that, Elon Musk will be forced to create a way to communicate with the people of Mars, and a Tesla smartphone will make absolute sense if SpaceX can get satellites to the Martian orbit. We know that Elon Musk and Tesla are into cryptocurrencies, which is why Tesla made Bitcoin investments. So with the Tesla smartphone, you could expect crypto mining capabilities, and people could someday in the future be able to do transactions with digital currencies, which will just accelerate the adoption of cryptocurrencies as a legit form of the payment system, as opposed to what we have with fiat currencies. We have Apple Pay and Google Pay as digital payment systems using fiat currencies, but if Tesla could build their own system, maybe call it Tesla Pay, using cryptocurrencies, it would be a huge deal for the entire cryptocurrency market, just like how Elon Musk was successful in pumping and dumping cryptocurrencies with just his Twitter account. When it comes to pricing, it will be somewhat on the higher side for anything Tesla. Tesla is a leader when it comes to battery technology, and you could expect something big from Tesla when it comes to battery technology for the Tesla smartphone. And there is one more thing. You need to look at Tesla's product lineup because it has always been about sustainable energy. So you could expect the Tesla phone to have some sort of solar charging capabilities. But we definitely think that Tesla is not just going to slap some solar panels behind the phone, because that is simply not going to work. Solar charging is typically a lot slower than your charging brick. Maybe Tesla will be developing a power bank with a solar panel that will be able to charge your Tesla smartphone, and we think that this is the most sensible choice when it comes to charging your phone with solar energy, because keeping your phone under the sun for a long time is not at all practical, or if you need to charge your phone at night, the power bank will be the perfect choice to charge your phone at night. So this happens to be the most logical choice for Tesla if they were ever to incorporate solar charging. So who will be the target audience for the Model Pi smartphone? Well, we think Tesla will be looking at the premium luxury end of the spectrum when it comes to smartphones. Tesla's phone is different from the rest because Tesla will be creating an entirely new category of satellite-connected smartphones, and maybe the company might just get rid of SIM cards and sell towers with the Tesla Model Pi. You need to keep in mind that we don't have any official confirmations for any of the things we mentioned in this video. All of these things are just wild speculations for what a smartphone from Tesla will look like. We cannot blame people who expect a lot because the company is always ahead of the curve when it comes to providing value to the end user. If they have to stay competitive in the smartphone world, Tesla will need to have a very different product from what we have in the market today. At least that's exactly what Tesla did with their Cybertruck, because the Cybertruck looks unlike anything we have in the market, and Elon Musk wanted it to be that way so that people will buy Cybertrucks instead of every other truck out there that looks just the same. Strangely, when you look at the entire smartphone industry, there is nothing huge that has happened ever since the announcement of the original iPhone way back in 2007. Brands with absolutely no focus will surely fail in the highly competitive smartphone world, but if Tesla could nail their focus with their smartphones, well, then Tesla will become the next big thing in the smartphone world. We often see a lack of ambition to try new things by smartphone manufacturers, and the manufacturers who did experiment with new form factors failed miserably. You probably know what the next iPhone will look like, and that's how predictable the industry has become overall. But let's hope that will not be the case with the Tesla Model Pi, and this might be the very first mass-market satellite smartphone and a smartphone that will be able to mine cryptocurrencies. Because let's face it, digital currencies will be the future of value transactions. Let's hope that the Tesla Model Pi will be a game-changer in the smartphone industry, just like how Tesla's electric cars are for the automotive industry.